Good evening. I'm going to call the uh, Zoning Board of Appeals <coughs> meeting to owner, uh, order here tonight. It's uh, 631 and um, we'll move forward with the agenda. We're going to do a roll call. Members present. Mr. Decker? Yes. Bob Decker's present. Adam Sokolowski's present. Oh, Bernie Sokolowski present. Alex Hirschmerder present. Okay. All right. <clears throat> we got a public hearing for an application filed by Jeffrey Bernischke for a special permit for property located at 951 River Road. Map 9, Lot 6, to allow contract yard to store park vehicles, various other equipment in a C2 district, provided the zoning bylaw 179, 2230. The C2 district is provided for a zoning bylaw 179, 2230. So we'll call the public hearing open. Um, if the applicant's here, I will let you know that um, because we have three full members and one alternate, um, you have to get a uh, unanimous vote to get your permit tonight. Um, as everything is a volunteer board, we can't uh, force anybody to come down. So it'll be your purview if you want to go forward and have a vote or continue it. Um, and we can you can go through it and and make that decision later and then another member can review the minutes and be added for a vote down the road but uh, same <coughs> issue show uh happened with uh, the bed and breakfast there man there's only four members present so All right, come up here. yeah come up to the microphone uh f cat likes that because yeah. we're well first i just i i, I don't uh, i don't know if i don't want to say i made an error but i um I, maybe the address is supposed to list 941 because it's a shared driveway, I guess. Um, I, I with um, is that Kevin's place? Well, it's Kevin's running on this side. It's the same lot, all the same, but I, I'm, I'm fairly certain that it's 941 because I mean it doesn't matter to me either way. I just didn't know if you needed to know that. Well, if it's on the same piece of it's property, the same everything. Yeah. Uh, Unfortunately, I know Bob let me know that he was not going to be here today. I mean, are you going to apply for a separate E911 address? Just a separate address? Like, yeah, so like, no. for a landline, there's no building no. there. No. It's a shared driveway. Um, I didn't know if that was relevant to you. It's, it's the same piece of property. I, I don't think it's an issue. Bob, do you think it's an issue? Uh, I don't really think it's an issue, but, Cause the but there's already, there. already a, a special permit been issued on that property right and uh i don't know if mr bernaski's been made aware of what the permit says etc i i don't know uh, let's look at it okay So in uh, a quicker way of reading it, there's some stipulations on, on 951 River Road? Yeah. Okay, maybe that's relevant as far as the address being 941. I don't know, but I, I stopped the building inspector's office this morning mm -hmm. and uh, I was told about the existing permit. Mm -hmm. So I asked the, our current clerk mm -hmm. to uh, grab the information mm -hmm. so we'd have it available. Sure. Uh, I guess it's all one parcel there. No, no, there's actually four parcels there. Is it what? Four parcels. Are you the owner? I am the owner, yes. Okay. Why don't you come up here so okay. the microphone gets you. That's why I didn't know if I had to come here. He put down nine. Yeah. 951 right. River Road instead of 941 River Road because I have a permit on mine at 951 for mechanical and body work and everything there, which is an acre lot. The one that he's talking about on the other partial is actually up behind my acre lot. 
So the road for that upper lot comes around over by 941. I told him that would be a shared driveway that you can get up and back with, not a problem. Is that the old uh, river road? It is the old river road, yeah. Okay. And that's what I, I had a question about that, but you know, it's no big deal. I don't know what you guys want to talk about. I was just curious about that part. Well, I don't know. Is there, there's no assessor's map in here. I didn't see it. What does it do with the application again? Sure. Well, yeah, I mean, I think it's beneficial at this point because that special permit would need to be changed to the C6 vehicles, right? So no, 17. What does it say? 17. No more than six vehicles, number three, on the premises outside of the building being worked on at one time. I'll have to go check because I believe my original one was six, 16 or 17 unregistered vehicles. Well, right here it says six. Really? Yeah, number three. Back in 05? Yeah, no more than six vehicles on premises outside the building at one given time. Huh, I was told that would be for unregistered vehicles. If they're registered vehicles... But it doesn't differentiate. I don't know what you were told. I'm reading 2005. I was, you know, basically just out. I mean, I had nothing to do with this. So that's what it says. I don't know what you were told, but that's what it says. So, so why don't you try to explain what... There's four parcels there? Yeah, I think, yeah there's four... A regular shaped, uh, yeah. different areas. The building was, they used to have the uh, the trucks used to be parked in. That's that's my building. It's signed five one. That's what I use. That's signed five one. <laughs> yes. The other building up a little bit. They used to have, I guess, for storage for the oil and everything else. Uh, that's the other building at nine forty one, which is right in the same area. And I, that that parcel number, I'm sorry if I'm not using the right terminology, but the parcel number I have is, is actually strictly just where I am. 1.493 it says. Yes, it's like nine, I, you know, it's funny. I turned it off. And then there's another oddly shaped one that's in Oh, here we go, here we go, there it is. I think you're right, though. I remember they said 17 vehicles. I'm almost, it, it was 17 cars. Yes, I heard 17 vehicles. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Now you're doing the selectman, I think. Yes. yes, and that's what it was for unregistered, but as many registered cars because those don't affect oh, look at that. for unregistered cars. Was that something to do with a, uh, Not the a dealer's license? No. No. Or anything like that? No, I think, I don't know what. Uh, K Dog, he read the other part what his license was, but that he applied for on the other building up there. And I know he has certain many cars that he could sell that are not registered, but I'm almost positive mine was 17 cars was my permit for my business. Well, if you go on Mass Land Records, right, the permit should be recorded in the, in the, in the registry of deeds. Not help at all. Oh no, I got it in here. We got one in here. Okay. Yeah, it's actually number seven. Okay. Parcel number seven is what we're talking about. Well, the number seven, but it's not the partial seven, but yeah, that's it. For Jeff. Did you want me to show you where the road is where he's driving in? No, I'm familiar with where it is. That's fine. I just didn't know that it was subdivided or not. I just just want to make sure that we're covering our bases here, that's all. Yep. So the one we're talking about is the one closest to the railroad tracks, right? Correct. I South guess where did you come up with 941? 941 is my other building. 
because when I first rented out power, I had to put an address number to it. Before, when I bought it, there was no address to it. And this is my stupidity for not writing the right stuff down. I didn't know that until after. So the other building that's... Well, I, I don't... Just give me a second. Yep. I think this, sir. Uh, I just... What I don't want to do is... Uh... So 941, I guess my question is, is the building between where you work on cars and the, in, in the um, entrance to Allstate Material True Stone? Correct. Okay. So why would you say that this parcel is part of 941, not 951? Uh, because I can show you there's four separate parcels there, but to get up on that area, my parcel at 951 is mm -hmm. fenced in all the way around. I, 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 okay. So you don't have access from from that partial to the other lot. Well, I think that that is one of those things that, that it's, it could help you and it hurts you at the same time. I would say that that is good for Mr. Bruniski uh, because he's got vehicles that he wants to park, and this special permit is for 951 River Road that says you can't park more than six vehicles. No. It would probably, uh, it would probably be in the best interest of the applicant, and it's up to you, Jeff. Um, the other board members feel free to weigh in. But basically, you want to see this, Bernie? If that special permit says only six vehicles, and I understand that you might have got different information. Well, I, yeah, I have the original one. Go that's on. not in front of us. This permit is, and it's right. clear. It would be hard for us that without asking for an amendment to that permit to add what you're asking for at the same address. But what you're saying is that there's a different address. But the posting and the legal posting and the new posting and everything was posted at 951. Mm -hmm. Does the acreage mention then that? <clears throat> well, this is what it says. It says, public hearing. June 9th, 6.30 p.m. application filed for a special permit on property located at 951 River Road, map 9, lot 6, to allow a contractor yard to store and park vehicles, various other equipment, and a C2 district as provided. And then, you know, the, the section. Well, it's a lot 6, the land that he wants to use? Well, it's 6, I think it's 6564. Six, it's not clear. Three in the legal posting. Oh, what you put for an ad, you mean? Well, what's in the paper, should, well, this is saying, this has a number seven on it. Can I come up there and look at the? I'll give it to you, you can, you can take a look at it. Okay, so that's six. Okay. That's where you're fenced in. That's where my fence in. And that's what this says here, map line lot six in the that's legal posting. Correct, that's this. And we're looking at Seven. Here. Okay, yeah, but this this here, whoever drew this, this whole parcel goes all the way up to here, which is one one point four something acres. So the drawing is incorrect, but this is where he's at and he's he's coming in this driveway, which is all flat. I understand. Okay. Uh -huh. so I, I don't get listed the wrong in order to clarify yeah. the lot lines and everything else, have you personally had the, your property surveyed by a I haven't license? Surveyed. But I know where the pins are all at that are there. But the point that I'm trying to make is well, right here so on the application, it reports parcel seven. But it says lot six in the legal post. Because he used my address. And I told him you gotta, there's no address to that number seven that you're looking up here. There's no address to that lot. I just, I'm just concerned that. that Somebody challenge if the board were to grant the permit, uh, somebody could challenge it if we had the wrong parcel numbers and everything else, and then you're just back doing it all over, and it's just a, a big mess. Right. That's uh, right. Yeah. Go what on. I'm Go th on. thinking out loud is if you had a licensed surveyor that actually had a print produced that with a signature and seal on that showed exactly where Mr. Bernesky wants to locate 
and the, exactly where your current permit is that's affected. And so that we, when the board sees it all, they can react to the whole thing and they've got everything in front of them. Right. Did you draw the black line? Yeah, they told me to. Okay. Well, that's where you're at, but you didn't draw the whole part. They didn't tell me to. They said, oh. I said draw where I was. Okay, so he's just drawing where he's at, yeah. but the whole partially he's on is a lot bigger than what he's using. Well, the problem is you've already got a special permit. On number six, not on number seven. So if that was listed in the paper correctly, it, it would be a different... Because I, that's why I said you're yeah. yeah. Right. Well, that's part of it. The, well, the part is, the first part about it is we want to make sure that when we're given special permits, we're given them correctly. So, I'm less concerned about the numerics than we are the actual uh, parcel. Because the legal posting in the newspaper says lot six, says seven here. Um, you know, in general, I think this is the right place in town for a business operation like this. I do too. So I don't think that that's going to be your holdup, but let's not, I mean, no, there's no reason get, to get it right. And then if you refile with 941. Now, does he have to have like an A or B to have access to that back partial? Well, or no? Numbers are outside of our purview. Okay. So to apply for a street number, there's a process for that. That, like no, I said, there's already one there. Is what I'm saying. The, the, the main thing is your surveyor will be able to go in and delineate what the current meets and bounds are on each parcel, and be able to identify what you already have a permit for, et cetera, et cetera, so that everything can be detailed out. And then if you want to figure out how he's going to get access, or you're going to get access and what everybody is going to be in the lease or whatever you're going to do, it's all got to be delineated, it should all be delineated so you don't, we don't end up with a big problem later on. Right, yeah, no, I, I, all the granite pins are there, so I know where all the lines are at. So you got, you're going to have to get a hold of a licensed surveyor to... Well, I didn't it. want to do that yet because they haven't turned over River Road, the old band part of River Road yet. Well, that's going to have to be called out too. I already no, did. But, but I want to call out one thing to you, and the Board of Health agents behind you, is all that frontage on the old river road is part of a layout and creates frontage. Frontage is a valuable thing on a piece of property. If they merge it into the other parcel, it might not be to your advantage. Well, I, let me understand this correctly. I, I, when, they, when they did abandon the road, that it would go to each of the partials on each side of the road, correct? Typically. Okay, so I would get a little bit of road frontage on 951, I'd get a little bit more on that, and a little bit more on my 941, only by 100 feet, but that's it. But what I'm trying to say is, whatever the facts are, yeah. you, gotta, you gotta get them all established so everybody is working with the same information. Correct. And, uh, right, I know I'd get a little bit more road frontage on those two props, I think 50 feet each, because I have almost 900 feet all the way up to True Corp's driveway. Okay, the only part that isn't mine, because of the old road, goes from my entrance on 951, and a little bit on the corner lot there, that little strip right there, the width of the road, is what's not on, it's what's not my, not in my name yet. That's the only part. And I only think that's 120 feet wide. The rest of it I own but, already. But is it town Deerfield actually voted to abandon it property? It was abandoned and voted on back in 1980. So I gave them the paperwork, and it, and the previous owners bought it for 300 as a no deemed value property, and the county records shows that I own it. But Deerfield says they haven't done anything with it. And I asked for it back in 07. It's a county road. No, it was a county road, correct. So, I mean, you, it's a complicated mess. Oh. Okay? And I'm not as... Yeah, we're not here to tell Right, you I'm not here to talk doing, about uh, that there. You know, you do what you want to do on your property, sir. I just think that it would make the most sense to 
refile this and you know if you if we can't require you to get a survey done but it may clear up where and where that 2005 special permit completely exists if that 2005 special permit exists for your multiple parcels or just that one no nope, just that one partial yeah well it's not clear in the way the permit was done so oh yeah it was only supposed to be just for 951 I, I, I understand what you believe it was supposed to be done for so if it, you know I, what I you can asked. do is in addition to mr. Berneski fund you can file to modify your existing permit oh I can yeah it's not set in stone I mean oh. when you're, I mean yeah. Nobody's trying to give you hard time. Yeah, we, 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 we want to, you know, we want to right. do it right. Oh, That's absolutely. Um, so yeah. So which would be the the best way you think? Well, the first thing to determine is to determine where that permit, if that permit is just for. 951, your fenced in area. Okay, no, I take that back. I do apologize. I was just thinking. I never had an address on the other building, so the whole property, all four parcels at the time, was 951 River Road. And I didn't put an address to the other building yeah. until... Well, in the research right. that you're doing, yeah. you're, who's ever going to do your research is going to go back and they'll probably come in and look for the original zoning application, et cetera, et cetera, and to establish what you actually asked for and we know what you were granted uh, right now, but it does. It doesn't say. It just says 951 River Road. It doesn't define the par parcels. No, because they classified that as all 951 at the time when I bought it in 05. So they classified all four parcels because that was the only address at 951 River Road. So anyway, that's where we are. Okay. So at this point. Mr. Berneski has the option to ask to have it withdrawn so he can refile without prejudice, and or right. we, or we can go forward. <laughs> if we, it, it, yeah. it gets much more complicated. <laughs> is it possible to do an amendment? Or well, is it not without filing. It, well, is it possible to do an amendment? Yeah, I mean, I would think that the well, because he's got lot seven written down yep. on, in his handwriting, and then for whatever reason. It ended up in the newspaper lot six. Yeah, because they told me you had to put an address to it. The closest address. That's what so, they told Well, huh. So, <laughs> according to me, the closest address was 951. Okay. Right, but it should have been specified lot seven or. And, and the other problem is the other, the previously issued special permit. Mm -hmm. Because if we issued what the applicant's asking for, then it would be contradictory to what's on there. And then you just, you know, gave us all kinds of extra information that we probably didn't need. But now it's like, well, and you're saying that the whole property at that time was 951. So, so I would say that if there was, you know, you wouldn't want. No, but I will go pull the original uh, special permit that you guys gave me because I, I know it says 17. Well, this is the original permit that the zoning board gave you. If you got other permits from other departments, it may say something different. I only got one, and that was so. when you guys were doing it, and, it's, and I know well, it said 17. No, none of us were on the board. No, but yeah. it was granted. Right. Right. No, I, I, I looked at the names there. Yeah. I recognized one person that's still alive. I only recognized one person. I'm not sure. It uh, uh, wasn't me. No, I said I recognized only one person. Yeah. I mean, Come on. Because do you, do you want me to go? Grace there's, was there. The, there's three people. There's, there's three people that are still alive: Roger, oh. uh, right. Richard, and Steve Bear. And I'm not sure if Miss Ferrari is still. Oh, she signed. She signed, but yeah. I, I thought she moved out of town. I'm not yeah. sure. So. Oh, yeah, I, I, withdrawing and re, re filing is what you're saying. You're yeah, I would just make sure we refile that you have this sorted out because you know the property owner needs to have his application or he's not the applicant but you know he's on there that we're not going to be in you know contradictory on this and then if if they say it is then he should file for an amendment to change it to you know you can leave everything else the same but change it to section six if that's what you want i mean i'm not saying what you want we can't give advice but what we can't what we don't want to do is 
make more of a mess for the next board, yeah. you know, in five years or, or whatever. So but the recommendation is to withdraw and refile and well, then without prejudice. Right. One the verbiage I think you want to use is I respectfully request to withdraw the application without prejudice at this time. Yeah, what he said. <laughs> I respectfully yeah. respectfully request to withdraw the application without prejudice. All right, let's take a vote on that. Mr. Decker? Yes. Alex? Yes. Yes. Me, myself, yes. So it's been withdrawn and um, work with the other folks and we'll hopefully see you soon. My, my only question that I have, A, is, uh, well, two of them is, can I use all the same documents I have that, that they're correct? And just re- like, right. Yeah. I think you're going to want to have some more supporting information from a registered land surveyor with the whole focus or whatever they call it, the whole area all spelled out so everybody understands exactly what you're doing so there won't be any confusion going down the road. Okay? And part of it gets complicated by the fact that it's an old county road and part of it is is maybe merged in, maybe not merged in, but a surveyor will be able to do that research and tell you exactly what's in and what's not in. Okay. And far be it from us, we don't know what happens. Oh, right. right. I remember driving on that old road. Oh, I, oh, I, I, I did too when I was a, when I was a kid. Yeah. But where he's talking about anyway, where oh, you he, grew up at. Where oh, he's at anyways, that's all my property, period. The old road is and that's what my property butts up to. Yeah. It isn't mine yet because Deerfield supposed to get a survey. But so but if you look at the whole kettle of worms, excuse the French, you may have additional frontage that you may down the road want to do something on that layout. I can't from what they already told me. Well, I don't know. And the other part is, is, is this considered a continuation as far as that property, me being on there, you know, trying to work this out? I, as far as what? Staying on it? Ah, uh, that's outside of our purview. Okay. Cool. Okay. I would say that the building department, the building yeah. inspectors oh. are enforcement agent. Yeah. I don't know if there was an enforcement action no, or I'm just if someone told you to come here for this or mm -hmm. what you're doing over there. I, I don't know. I mean, I'm just waiting. I, to get everything right I know so. that the this uh, building inspector has been very fair with people that mm -hmm. have had to come to us and then things have had to change in the past and he does his best to be as reasonable as possible as long as people are doing the best they can. So. That's my experience on other matters, so I would imagine that he would probably grant the same okay. type of consideration to anybody that was trying to do business in town. Okay. So. Now, would it, would it, would it be easier if I modified my permit? Well, you might not have to. Oh, okay. right. right, so that's what we're saying. We're saying that you might not have to, you might have to. We don't know because we, we don't have the, the permit just says 951. Correct. Your permit from 2005. It doesn't specify a lot. No. Right, so you. Uh, yeah, it started at 6 30. We specified that. Um, uh, we'll bring it to the. We specified that. Uh, and the, in the posting, it was specified lot six. Your special permit isn't. So if there's other documents that support that lot six only, or if that's what you want, then we should take a look at You should take a look at that. So you think I should. Do it just for lot six or for? I'm not telling you what no, you no, should do. I'm just telling you that we can't grant a permit for more vehicles to be parked where a special permit has a condition on vehicles being parked. That's what I'm saying. If I apply for more vehicles, would that cover for his vehicles for him to apply for his uh, contractor's lot? I'm not sure. Okay. What I'm sure about is your permit says not the zoning board permit says 951 River Road, no lot specified. Okay, what we have in front of us. Mr. Decker's recommendation is have it surveyed and have someone pull the registry of deeds file on your property to see what's recorded on the deed. Okay, because there's a discrepancy between what you believe you have the ability to do and what this special permit says. Well, yeah, the only difference is just the cars. Right. But there was no lot number applied right. to that at the time. Yeah. Right. Oh, but yeah. What, what 
the chairman is saying is it, it's 951 and that whole all that property was yeah, that's what you said you at, said that at the time it was yes but, there was but, no but i don't know <laughs> yeah. but yeah you're right if, if a survey goes through and delineates the lot lines etc as to what's there right uh you know he's going to have a legend it's going to tell you exactly what's covered by right-of-ways permits etc because he wants to make sure he does it right so somebody comes comes and come back at him later right right and if mr berniski is going to do business at 941 river road lot seven okay mm -hmm. then that would not be a conflict of the special permit but you brought that up that the whole thing was 951 so i I, I don't know at the time when i did that the only address number was 951 right but now that there's if there's multiple i don't know when it was subdivided i'm not going to speculate on that no it's always been subdivided okay then so but i don't know why but i think the change is because when i had power to the other building at the time to put power the power company had to put an address to that building so I, that's when it was changed so i didn't know how that would affect anything mr chair you can make a comment yes all right well, the power company, what happens is they're, they don't like to put power in two separate buildings. So what happens is they'll say it's one building and one parcel, and then they can put power to both of them. Sounds funny, but they, they don't like to do that. So in other words, if it's another parcel, yep. they're not going to want to put power at parcel A and then go to parcel B. So if you put it all on one, then they will put it on one parcel. But that has nothing to really with do us. with us. But that's but maybe what they you, If you have it. a separate address that's been issued by the town, the building inspector issues addresses. So you should check with the building inspector. That's their purview. They're the ones that assign street numbers, not us. Okay, I can't remember how you, what I did to you to get that address. I, I, no, I, I don't know. But what I want to do is make sure that if someone's coming to us and they want to do business, in a certain location, a certain town, that we accommodate them and, and you know, make sure that we get have everything done right, the legal posting was done right, and, you know, like I said, for so we can move forward. But the applicant's withdrawn, you yep. folks are free to leave, and we'll Good. continue on with our, our meeting. Okay, thank you. You can keep that copy. Thank you. And, and thank you. And, and thank you. Lots of What's that? You know, the town clerk, typically has copies of all the zoning decisions and and the applications I believe. Okay. So I have no idea. the record should exist. Okay. Thank you. All right. Okay. Have to dry one. all right. Thank you. I have to look at it a little farther. Well, that, that original layout was uh, 1949 was when they uh, did that layout. And, and, well, I can remember driving over that road. Here's Thank you. The original uh, layout, well, that was originally laid out that way in 1949. Yeah. Um, you were just, you were only two years old. I don't know if you, are we so allowed to discuss VESH? I don't know. Like, I, I asked why it was on the agenda and then they, they kept it on. I, I have no idea. I know that they're building over there and there's maybe an issue. I haven't got told anything. And they started the construction? Well, they've been doing construction over there for years. Well, I don't know. I I would think that it's on the agenda. Do we have any objection to? Uh, no, go for it. I, I think it's fine. I mean, I, they haven't filed an application that I'm aware of, so I don't know. Do they need one? I don't know. I mean, they're, uh, you know. They, they had a, the property over there had a special permit issued to it. Yeah, for a phase one for a major commercial yeah. use. And I, I would assume at the time, um, phase two and three were, were part of the presentation. I would assume. I wasn't there. I, I have no idea. There's a lot of, I mean, but the, the obviously there was building permits issued every time they changed something over there. Yeah. So if the building commissioner at the time felt that they could issue the permit, I don't. I mean, and I don't know what they're asking, what they're planning on doing now. I, I know there's a folder that thick on it. Yeah. Bob had it, but they hadn't formally filed it. Right. So, I mean, they sent a letter that I was read in May. Yeah, that's the one Bob had, I think. I don't know. I, I, 
hasn't been shared with us. Yeah, I mean, it's one of those things where, you know, I don't really see, I mean, they're super busy. People need their animals taken care of. I mean, it's the right place in town for something like that. So, I, I mean, if they're going to do something to serve people better, I don't see as though there's an issue. Well, as my personal feelings is that whole strip from the Whaley line to, to Greenfield should allow for special permits for all that type of thing, doctor's offices, etc. cetera. Yeah. And uh, right now, I don't think it allows it. All right. Most of those places. All right. What well, else we have? Do we have anything else, Alex? I got, I got like one quick thing, but other than that? Uh, minutes if you want, and set a meeting date. Uh, I have two things. Go ahead, on. Bob. One, uh, I want to uh, recognize the fact that the building department's administrative assistant is leaving and I think we should recognize the fact that she's always been very faithful to getting us the information and she's done a, a, a very good job in trying to uh, keep us up to date, et cetera, et cetera. And I'm sorry that she's leaving. And I don't know if we could, the chairman could send a letter if the board so choose, chose, uh, thanking her for her service and recognition of her service. You don't have to, you don't want to. I, I, uh you can send over a thank you if you want, that's fine. I'm fine with that. Yeah. Anybody yes, else? I agree. Okay. Alex? Sure, let's do it. Okay, yeah. Yes. Alex, can you take care of that as the clerk? <coughs> yeah. Thank you. Uh, you yeah. get to write it. Yeah. <laughs> the other thing, I think we have to recognize Mr. Sadowski's faithful service to the board for a number of years. Yeah. We're going to miss him. Yeah, I, unless something urgent comes up, this will probably be your last meeting. I would assume so. So thanks for for your years of uh, all the challenges. Five years. And um, I also was made aware that uh, John Sabursky is not asking for reappointment. So I thank him if he's watching or sees this for his service over the past couple years. Um, so I wish him luck in his future in endeavors. And um, maybe hopefully you and him can find another way to volunteer for the community because there's plenty of spots. and. Um, I did uh, run into one of our select board members and uh, was asked on my thoughts for um, membership um, and I said what I've always said for, since I've been a member of this board and before I was chair that um, our alternates uh, should be promoted to full members and I feel as though um, we should solicit two new alternates. Um, and then and go from there but uh, the board is not our purview the select board has acted uh, in a different way in the past um, and it's their purview on who they want to appoint as full members but that was my recommendation and if anybody in the public or anybody else has any feelings I always encourage involvement either by email or speaking with them I agree um, Alex is sitting out there I don't know if he had something to come to us with no all right all right, uh, do we want to do the second uh, Thursday in July uh, if there's if there is a special permit request and then take the month off if there's not? Yeah, we are going to act on their application, but the second th Thursday in July, it's not going to give you much time for this, for somebody to put the, a presentation together and send all the certified letters out, I don't think. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess we can do it tentatively. And yeah, if there's we could an plan on doing it, and, uh, but I, I just think it's a, it's a strong ask. You know, it depends on how much work the information that they can put together. Uh, the second Thursday in August is going to be a no-go for me. Okay. Uh, the third Thursday in July works for me. Most all of them work for me. Is the third one the 18th? 19th. Oh, Thursday? Thursday? Thursday is the 21st okay. in July. Thank you, sir. Well, I get in trouble if I schedule something on the 18th. That's a Monday in July. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I get in trouble if I schedule on my anniversary. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, I could not make the third Thursday in July. Okay. The second, I'm good. Okay. The second would be tight. Huh? 
And what's the issue with the second Thursday in July? That has to do with the time-wise. Mm -hmm. All right. As to whether or not they've got to, if they hire a surveyor to survey the property, or do the research. Yeah, they won't. They won't come back till September then, because you're not going to get a survey in there unless you I see the particular project that we were just talking about. Yeah, they withdrew because there was some address issues. It wasn't clear, and I, you know, there's four, yeah. there's four distinct parcels, and the numbers and all the information just takes it an awful lot of research and then a legend detailing what permits are issued already. So right. What about the veterinary? Is this possible to come? I mean, they haven't filed for anything. I, I think you know, uh, they thought they might have to, and then they thought they might not have to, and I don't know. I haven't really been, I haven't really asked. I haven't, you know. I basically, you know, I've never really been involved with telling any person that they need to come to us or I've never driven around town and thought well you know I've come and look for a special permit I don't do that like that's not what I never thought that whether you're on the you know you should be driving up business uh, that's the building enforcement department's job so uh, you know they they issue the permit so I mean there's been the question when they with the vet hospitals they were originally granted a, permit as uh, remember when we did treehouse we did it as a major commercial project they did it as phase one and uh, I guess it's unclear as to they have had building permits and work done there since that original building you know maybe the first 10 years went by then they did an addition they changed some things and now they're looking to possibly expand again so it would be the purview of the building inspector whether or not they had to come back to us or if it was still covered under that first special permit. Right, Bob? That's yeah, it's a little more complicated, but... You but know, so how come it's on the agenda as a revision? Well, see, if, you, if the board decides to accept it as a revision, they don't have to go back through and do a great big public hearing on it, okay? They would just have to go in and revise the existing permit to allow some modifications. It was put on the agenda because Bob wanted to talk about it, mm -hmm. so it was a, a, an agenda item, but yeah. nothing has been formally asked for. Well, I say what I think Alex said, it's no harm putting it on the, on the calendar for July, Yeah. Uh, if something should come up. Yeah. But Do you, or we could just... Yeah, we'll put it on the calendar if, you know, we'll, that's, you know, if someone's got something, you know, we don't know what's going to walk through the door tomorrow, then that would be our normal meeting. If it's not going to be ready, then we'll have to pick a date in August. Or you know later in the month. Okay, so we'll do it tentatively. Okay. So the other thing, did you uh, have we disposed of the uh, application for the bed and breakfast? It's all signed, so we can go to the town court. Yeah, it's administratively signed. Okay. There was no, no one brought up any issues. So good. So do we have a date for July? The second. We'll do the second. Okay. We'll do the second at six thirty, or the second Thursday, which is the fourteenth, right? Yep. Yeah. Anything else we got on the agenda? You're good. Well, if I don't write down, I don't forget. It wasn't anticipated. I don't have anything that wasn't anticipated. That morning, Basically, you know, there's some mail here addressed to a couple of us that I think uh, was everybody here for the uh, almost everybody uh, for the bed and breakfast. Um, Alex. Um, Hopefully it's not all hundred dollar bills. No, no, no. Let's open them on TV so we can dispose of it properly if yeah. it's not a Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Please God, don't let me <laughs> Hey, I mean people get in trouble for taking bribes. Yeah. You think? Even after the fact. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a very well written thank you card, looks like. It's pretty good, yeah. All right, perfect, thank you. You're lucky I get thrash on my driveway. Oh, that's so, nice. All right, no, the only thing I had was, you know, just thanking the members and uh, that that served, and, and hopefully we'll have some more volunteers, and they should uh, 
send a letter to the town administrator's office if anybody's interested in being appointed to this or any board. I think there's lots of openings, right? There's openings on a number of boards that are appointed, not elected, so. Yeah, I think they're gonna, the select board might be going over it next meeting, Yeah. so. All right, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. All those in favor? I think we have to roll call vote on this too. We're on Zoom. Are we on Zoom? Yeah. No, no, we couldn't Zoom tonight because we, there's no staff. We're not on Zoom. Now. We don't need to roll call. Oh, well, I thought that was a part of it. Okay, huh? no. All right, then. You're on Zoom. We have to roll call for everything. Right. No, there is no staff for uh, remote tonight. So. Hey, you know, after budget season, they need, everybody needs a vacation, so I'm not going to say that. Yeah. Right. Can't work for that. Well, I'll see you. So are we all eyeing that we're adjourning? Aye. Yeah, Aye. 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 Okay. Aye. 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 Raise your right hand. Thank you. Yeah. If you raise you your right left hand, it's wrong.